The streets of the world's financial capital are seized with terror, people fleeing in blind panic. No one knows the true scale of the human carnage. America is sealed, all borders and airports closed, communications in chaos. The rioting scared me the most, as it was then that everyone truly realised what was happening. The incident frightened us all and made us realise that we will all be alone. No more social gatherings with friends. No more class lectures or work meetings. No more humorous and argumentative evenings with your family. Just waiting to see who will be left. It was grim to start with, the fall of humanity. Survival of the fittest came into play. I was on the side of the survival of the intelligent, of the sane. I survived by keeping my mind occupied, not falling into the now living cliche of insanity as everyone else has. I forced myself to be alone. Instead of taking all the supplies I needed in one go to survive, I went back, set it as a task. In some ways, it felt as if nothing had changed. It kept my mind occupied during the day. I'm not one of them! What were you doing back there? What were you doing? This is my brother's school. I'm trying to look for something of his. He's dead, isn't he? Yes. I just don't know what to do anymore. What was it you were looking for then? My parents were always busy. When he used to bring his workbooks home, I used to help him. That's what I'm looking for. Mm -hmm. Keeping bits of home to make you feel closer to it. Yeah. I've tried to avoid people before. They slow me down. I've almost been killed. Where are they now? I've left them. Are you going to leave me here? I haven't spoken to anyone in a long time. And it would be nice to speak to someone, but people do slow me down. What's your name? Elliot. Yours? Nikki. Have you ever had to kill anyone? Stop yourself getting killed. I haven't seen a lot, but I've always managed to injure them. I've always been wary of check my surroundings. What about you? They're still human, but when they attack you, they aren't. I've killed about 
last two of them. Does that make me a serial killer? No, it's self-defense. You have to fight to survive. I couldn't leave her. I let her come along with me. It was strange being with someone. Everything felt the same as it was before. Except deserted. So how did you survive? I survived by pretending the world had never changed, except I was the only one when I had to look after myself. I find food and drink, not all at once though. Mostly canned products now as all fresh food has gone off. Canned products? Why don't they run out? They do, and that's my fear. Everyone else has turned insane and decided to eat each other. And I don't want to be that. I'm just hoping to find a group of sane survivors. We could live on a farm. Look up the crops. Help us live again. There are groups of people, but they aren't nice. Even though there is no government, they forget about all the laws that should still exist. I look places. Steal from shops, houses. Isn't that breaking the law? They steal from other survivors and either kill them or break them. I escape. Now in the world, it's first come first sir. But you don't need to kill people for it, After the escape, we made our way back to my safe house. In a danger-free neighborhood. Take a seat. How long have you been here alone? A couple of months. I was chased by the cannibals and jumped over the fence to hide. And this window was open, and I climbed in. Do you know what happened to the family that lived here? No, there were photos, books and stuff around the place, but they hurt too much to see them every day. I felt like I was trespassing, so I got rid of them. I'm good with fixing things, making things work. I hooked up the water butt outside to filter and collect the rainwater. And I managed to pump it around the house as well. I could even heat it. How'd you do that? Solar panels up on the roof, hooked up to some batteries in the garage. I can't use too much power though. Do you want some water? Water? Um, yeah, sure. It's safe. See? Um, that's why your clothes are so clean. How have you been to wash properly in ages? There are some clothes upstairs from the previous owners. Just a little girl I asked my mother What will I be? Will I be pretty? Will I be rich? Here's what she said to me Que sera, sera. Not ours to see. K 
yeah, it's just weird. Everything seems like it was before. Where will I be sleeping? Upstairs, in the back. Do you want something to eat? Yeah, okay. Survival of the fittest came into play, and I was on the side of survival of the intelligent. <laughs> 